Hi, I'm Gretel Egan, Content Manager with Wombat Security Technologies. We're here again today to talk about identity theft protection tips. And in this segment, we want to focus on passwords and two-factor authentication. Uh, a lot is made of, of passwords, and there's a lot of talk about use of simple passwords like password one and password one, two, three. And certainly, these are passwords that you should avoid at all costs because they are easy to guess. Um, but we also understand how difficult it can be to remember all of the passwords that you are required to remember on a daily basis. The important thing is that you focus in on the accounts that hold your most sensitive information, your bank accounts, your uh, tax, online tax accounts, um, your social media accounts, your email accounts. What you really want to make sure of is that you vary your passwords on these very important sites. Um, when a breach happens on one site, if your password is revealed, a scammer can take that information and try other sites and try to get into other sites using the same password. So that's where you see that password reuse can be very dangerous to your personal information and can expose you on multiple levels. So what you want to think about is using um, phrases, random things, that are personal to you, but are not easy to guess by someone else. Um, a longer phrase, something that you say that would not be automatically uh, easy to determine by someone. Uh, longer is better because it's just simply harder to break longer passwords. It's also important to think about using something like a password manager. Uh, we don't recommend any particular brand or any particular application because things do vary by platform and, and what you're using. However, you can do some research and find out um, good, well-reviewed, well-rated password managers that can help you with keeping your passwords set and long enough and, and, and complex enough to make them difficult to break. You also want to think about using two-factor authentication whenever it is offered. And what two-factor authentication is, it's really uh, something you have combined with something you know. So you know your password, but you also have something like a secure ID token, or you have uh, your mobile phone where a pop-up can be used um, to have you verify a login in addition to your password. Um, the simple thing there is thinking that it's, it's harder for a scammer to get hold of two things than it is for them to get hold of one thing. So and things like Facebook and Google and plenty of other sites are allowing and, and incorporating the option for two-factor authentication, which is something you should take advantage of anytime you can to help protect your accounts, which inside of those accounts is your personal information. So protecting your accounts is protecting your identity.